So we've got another P55 board here today that we're going to be checking out. It's the ASUS P7P55D LE. Now LE can mean any number of things. In this case, I'm pretty sure it means light edition. You've got a lot of the basic features that you're going to want. So you've got your eight phase power, you've got support for, what is it, their uh, MemoK Turbo V overclocking software. MemoK is actually one of the more unique features. We'll talk about that in a bit. So inside, we've got our IO shield. Got like the padding on the back, that's kind of neat. You've got these little uh, ports that you can use to plug your individual pins into, then plug the whole thing into the board, the easy connector or something like that. You've got an IDE cable, two SATA cables, and a manual with the uh, DVD inside. So you can see it's actually a very, very basic accessory package with this board. So let's take out the divider here and get that out of the way and let's take out the actual board itself. So this is one of the lower end boards in ASUS's P55 lineup. So let's go ahead and put that down there. You can see it's actually a little bit on the narrow side. So normally you'd see that a board will have one, two, three screw holes and it would actually be a little bit wider. So this is a narrow board. Board. It helps them save on costs and it helps them keep a cleaner layout. Gives you a little bit more space to work in. So let's do the general layout. We've got our 24 pin connector over on the right edge, exactly where we want it. Support for dual channel DDR3 memory, like all P55 boards. Here's our LGA 1156 socket and here's our eight phase power design. Up at the top of the board, you can see you've got an eight pin power connector for the CPU right there. And then let's have a look. So you've got a couple of PCI Express ports, but we don't have support for Crossfire or SLI on this particular board. This is kind of a neat looking heatsink here. It's uh, very unique. I actually kind of like the look of this board to be honest. Uh, we've got six SATA connectors, so if I can just get the cameraman to have a look. So two right angle ones, and then four of the more classic style that comes right out of the board. And let's have a look at our rear panel. I don't really like the color of this PCB. I prefer to see it like a jet black, but it's not too bad looking actually. Okay, we got two PS2 ports. We've got eight USB ports, so one, two, three. And then we've got uh, digital audio, eSATA, and 7.1 audio. So actually a pretty good, uh, a pretty good IO port thing here. Oh yeah, let's talk about MemoK. Okay. Yeah, before you zoom out. So that's the MemoK okay button. Basically MemoK, okay, you press this button and the board will default to super loose, super non-aggressive timings for the RAM. So you can make sure that you can boot with any RAM, no matter what the profile is on the memory itself. So thank you for checking out my blog on the P7P55D LE.